IF Warriors is your boy Edward V and it's time to talk about mind over matter something very important when it comes to fitness and goals how you doing guys uh, this is something that I really wanted to touch on I've always well this is something that I wanted to spotlight I always had uh, situations where I touched on mind over matter uh, but I never spotlighted mind over matter and the reason mind over matter matters that's cool uh, <laughs> the reason mind over matter matters is because a lot of people let that be the driving factor for why they don't do anything um, one thing that I don't agree with is when someone says hey I'm just gonna you know I'm just gonna listen to my body I just want to listen to my body yeah well your body is not gonna tell you the correct thing all the time your body doesn't want to be under stress if you were to listen to your body you would have never gotten up and gone to the gym on that Friday where you just felt you know sluggish and felt like you didn't want to go your body was telling you not to go why because your body doesn't want to be under that stress when you work out when you lift weights when you do a lot of those things your body is under a certain amount of stress and it doesn't want to be under that stress does it mean that it's bad for you of course not but does it mean that your body doesn't want to do it yes so your body is not always gonna be correct. Your body's not always gonna tell you the accurate uh, uh, information. It's not gonna gear you towards your goal. It's gonna gear you towards the best relaxing uh, position that you can be in. Uh, so if, you, if your body wants to eat, you know, like a lot of people tell me, hey, I, I don't fast, man, because I just, you know, I listen to my body. My body just tells me I want to eat. Yeah, no, that's your body being in a rhythm. Your body is in a rhythm of eating. And that rhythm doesn't allow your body to think otherwise. Your body's not going to say, hey, you know what? I want you to do intermittent fasting, so I'm not going to make you feel hungry until at least 16 hours. Your body's not going to do that. Your body's not going to do that. Your body's going to con continue to ask for the rhythm that makes it feel uh, the most safe. So if it knows that you can always eat and you can constantly eat, it's going to be like, fine, whatever. Go ahead and do that. But one thing you guys have to understand too when it comes to this is if you control your mind if you control your mind if you if you can let your mind overcome what's physically uh, happening like if you feel tired or if you feel like you don't want to go to the gym or if you feel for example that you don't want to lift 55 pounds or if you don't want to curl 55 pounds you're on you're on four you're on 50 but you don't want to go to 55 uh, because you struggle a little bit on 50 use your mind understand hey you know what I do 50 I do it clean I do 10 reps of those yeah it feels a little bit stressful but I, 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 don't, I don't feel like I'm at my peak go and try that 55 go and give it a shot and if it and if it's hard just you power through it get there because you know what your body will have to start adjusting to that your body will have to start adjusting to that new weight and building the new fibers. You have to create the mind over matter scenario when you when you want to change something, when you want to reach somewhere. When you want to reach your goal, you got to do you have to do mind over matter. It's it's automatic. Your body wants to be comfortable. Your mind, if you have big goals, if you have uh, big uh, things you want to achieve. It, it, ha it wants you to be in an uncomfortable state um, and also understand how easy it becomes it doesn't matter what you do it will become very very easy no matter what it is anything you do will become very easy because what ha ends up happening is you the body goes into rhythm and it, it syncs with the mind so you will for example if you want to fast and you think fasting is just way too difficult I've Trust me, I've had so many people, and I've helped other people, and I've helped people even in, in, in like in person. People have asked me questions in person, and I've helped them in person, and there are people that I see every day. And they'll tell me, man, I can't get to it. I just can't get to it. I don't know what. It's like what you do is amazing. What you do is amazing. What I do is not amazing. 
it's not amazing. It was just mind over matter until my mind and matter sync together, which took about three weeks. Everything syncs. If if you work, if you're, for example, uh, uh, a cashier at, at McDonald's, right? You feel that your body feels that you can't even fathom being the CEO of McDonald's. But if you you if you had your mind in the right spot and you work towards that goal and you get there, yeah, it's gonna feel different. It's gonna feel difficult. But once you keep doing it, once you keep doing it, your mind and matter will sink. And then it will be very easy to be a CEO. So you went from cashier to CEO. Like that's a grand leap. Will it happen overnight? No. But can you get there? Yes. If you take the necessary steps, as as far and as how it's difficult and as of as and as you know, just far and difficult it is, you can get there because you have to push your body that's in the comfort zone with your mind. So mind over matter is very important. Mind over matter is extremely important when it comes to intermittent fasting because that is what allows you to finally break through and get into the rhythm that you need to get into for your fasting, uh, for you to be able to fast. Like. Once you get there, you're good. You'll be on autopilot. Yes, it's strenuous in the first week, the second week, the third week, but then something really, really interesting starts to happen. You'll notice that you don't even get hungry. Like when I eat, I'm, I've done it for so long that when I eat, I'm, I'm not hungry. I, I don't mind, I could eat. But I'm not like hungry. I'm not actually physically hungry to eat. When and I'm talking about when my fast fasting period ends, I'm literally not hungry at that point. I'm gonna eat because I want to get my you know my macros. I want to get my calories in. I want to get all my all that stuff in. But I'm not actually hungry at that point. But that's because I've overcome that whole thing of not eating when people say oh what you do is amazing it doesn't even feel amazing it just feels like a normal day for me but that's what you need to do you got to do mind over matter until matter mind and matter sink and that's what uh the why i want to adjust. that's the reason i want to do this video here is because that's a big question that a lot a lot of people tell me. They, there's a lot of people that tell me, hey, you know what? I can't do it. I'm tired. Or I can't do it. I can't fathom not eating uh, in the morning. I have to eat in the morning. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to do anything that you do not want to do. You're, don't trick yourself to believe that you have to or you'll pass out or you'll, you'll, you can't do it. That is very weak-minded thought. You're letting your matter take over your mind. And you need to be able to be cognizant of your surroundings and your and your achievement and your goals that you reach you want and and understand hey I need to focus and create the get the breakthrough that my body doesn't want to do with my mind and then push through in that in that way and I've had people tell me <clears throat> Hey, I want to lose weight, man. You you got a fitness, you know, you got a whole fitness thing going on and everything. Come on, help me out, help me out. And then I tell them, hey, uh, well, from what I can teach you, it's it's intermittent fasting. Nah, man, but not intermittent fasting. Like, show me how some else, another way to lose weight. I can't. I can't. Um, I've done other things and I can't honestly uh, endorse those other other methods because they didn't work well for me. So all I can do is endorse uh, intermittent fasting because it worked exceptionally well for me and I want to give you the best possible scenario. I, if when they when they tell me that I'm telling them, listen, you just need to you have to you know if you could do intermittent fasting, but I don't want to do it. Then you don't really want to lose weight that much. It's not that powerful in your mind. You you really don't want to do it because if you really wanted to do it, you'd be willing to do something. To, to lose weight but if you don't want to if you want to be in your comfort zone and then lose weight like how's that gonna happen that's how's that gonna happen 
It's not. So I could tell them, hey, okay, you know what? D then just be a cal caloric restriction. So, you know, but that's it. They, nothing, nothing to it. Just go to do a caloric restriction. Even that, they're not going to be able to, to, to get into because they haven't done it. Like, that, that's clear cut. Caloric restrictions is, under, is universally understood as the reason why you lose weight, but people still can't do that. So, like, if you haven't lost weight, why, why do you need me to tell you how to lose weight when I'm trying to give you a tool and you're, you're just telling me, no, 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 accept that, accept that. But that's how people think. That's how people think. So you got you to gotta do the mind over matter. You got to overcome all of that anxiety that your body's telling you. Don't listen to those people that tell you, hey, listen to your body. Your body is not going to tell you what you need to do to uh, build uh, your muscle, to lose the weight. Your body doesn't want you to be in that position. Your body wants to be comfortable. Your body wants to know that you can constantly eat. Your body wants all of this stuff. So if you listen to your body, you're basically going to keep yourself the same way. Your body's only gonna tell you to do what you've been doing for the past whatever amount of weeks or whatever. It's just gonna be in the rhythm. That's all it is. That's my information, guys. Thank you for watching this video. And please, of course, subscribe. Uh, if you haven't yet and also watch this video or this video if you have any questions on that material right there and i will see you next week have a good one if warriors peace out after my workout or should i eat right before my workout what is the best time for me to uh to break my fast okay so one thing that i always like to explain or what what i want you guys to understand is the ability to do something for the rest of your life needs to be like the top dog. That needs to be the reason why you schedule anything for whatever you know schedule that you choose. Of a regimen. Either they're eating six meals a day, either they're doing um, the the uh, Atkins diet, or you know they're making sure they eat in between working out so they'll work out they'll stop for a few seconds go to the locker room get something to eat and then work out again and to those people i say isn't it just about the calories why are you doing all these extra things isn't the calories all that matters you see it goes both ways it goes in that extreme as well so yeah even if you're measuring your calories why eat six meals a day if all you have to do is eat two million.